Yeah, bro. Listen, can I have a little interview for Big TV? Of course, bro. You see, we're here, man. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Maximum violence. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Yes, man. Listen, this guy, yeah. Listen, man, he's been around the music business. Um, he's with Dylan White Camp. Um, drum roll, please. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. We got Pesto Superstar, aka John Harden Jr. In the building, done though with my brother, heavy. <laughs> hey, let's go. Maximum violence. I love this guy's energy, no, man. I love this guy's energy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, listen, bro. I mean, like, Obviously, I mean you've 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 been you've been you've been hard in training for about five months. Five yeah, months, yeah. yeah, yeah over there, five, five months. months. Yeah. Um, what was the training like out there? Because it looked like you were training hard. Man, it was hell, man. Yeah. It was hell. It was hell, man. Every day was hell, man. Just by the time you even think you're back to recover, you're back training again, man. It was just. So it's non. It's just non-stop. They have no breaks. It's non-stop. It was non-stop. Everyone's just pushing each other. Everyone's leveling up. You know what I mean? It's just. It was just absolute. It was like hell. It was like. Damn, yeah. every day was just like, you know what I mean? Like my, my physique has changed from being over there. Man. Yeah, I see you, man. I see you got the six pack. Now, Dylan's got the six pack as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and out of nowhere, this yeah. guy, Babbage, who everyone's talking about yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just come on the scene. And yeah. he's just like, no, Babbage has been. The, hey, I remember when I first, when I saw, Is it? I first saw Babbage in Loughborough before the Reavers fight. And yeah. I saw him in Dill Spa, and I said, oh my. Like I stopped and said, oh my God. I see a shot that Dill gave him. And it's like he almost lifted him up and he just kept walking forward. I said, what type of chin has this guy got? Serious. And they just became close from there. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's... Iron sharp as iron. That's the story of Babbage, man. You Babbage. Because I mean? now, but obviously now he's on everyone's lips. Because I'm um, Tom Little. Yeah, he's, 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 he's weird. I see something of, oh, I think it's Don Charles' son. Yeah, George Fox. Yeah. George Fox. Why is it, why is it, right? Why is it that, why is it that people wait until after the fight before they went to fight, because I think he was he was open to fight. Yeah, he was looking for a lot of opponents, and Babich gets, you know, okay, Babich's story, he gets kicked out of uh, training camp. He's too, too, he's too violent in the way he spars. But he fits in I mean? with the maximum violent training camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that, yeah. and that's how he <laughs> got signed. He fit right in. <laughs> yeah, he was like, you know, he was looking to give up boxing and, and or so, along those lines anyway. Yeah. He was always getting kicked out of camps. Yeah. He's, you know, he's you know, terrorising people, and he yeah. was like, nah, you know, he gave him a chance, and look at him now. Okay, so so um so did, 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 is there any fallouts within the camp? Does everyone else does everyone get on? Yeah, everyone's cool, man. Everyone's yeah. cool, man. We've got a tight little circle. Yeah. And that, that you see when we was in Portugal, um, it's all love, man. Wicked, man. It's Wicked. Brotherly love, man. Yeah. So let's let's talk about you, right? Yeah. 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 So obviously, we, like we know the story. People don't know the story. Mm. Tell them about your story. Cause I know that you 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 know you 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 you've used boxing as a as a way and music as a way yeah, yeah, to yeah. turn around just, your life. Yeah. Just just to express myself, man. If, you know, if I go into a story, we will be here till morning. You know what I mean? So it's just. The main bits is just, you know. It's a great outlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just from 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 the bottom to the top, really. Just just to show people that you can you can change your life around no matter what. Uh, believe in yourself. I always tell people. Um, always. Yeah, just believe in yourself. Don't believe in what other people say about you. Everyone's always gonna have an opinion. It's all about what you say about yourself. Yeah. And that's it. And it, I just want to show people that there's a chance you can. You know, like it's, it, especially people that are coming from, you know. Uh, you know, estates and everything, and, yeah. and stuff in certain ways, or being prison and all that. Is that? It don't mean that now your, your life's, life's over. Yeah, your life's over, and this is the life. Or your typecast, or you have to be a. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. showing. Listen, you yeah. put yourself, you focus, be around the right people. This can happen, and, I, and I'm living proof of that. And if I can do it, then I, for me, I think anyone could do it. 
So how, how did how did how did you get into boxing? I mean, where where did it, where, 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 I know that you, you got signed by Dylan White. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how did that how did that come about? Uh, saw you in the gym or me and Dill. Are you his friends? I first, uh, you know, first properly I, I saw Dill. You know what? You know when I first really saw Dill, I was I was um had a, like a day release from the prison and yeah. I walked past him. And I remember when someone was talking about me in the newspaper and we slowly nodded at each other and it was just like, that's when I actually saw him on the grafting. He's, you know, he's got, he's got his shoes, his bag, and he walked into the gym. That was my first really... Uh, wait, 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 we talking about Brixton Nick? Yeah, I was in Brixton Nick. And I was <laughs> just walking past him. Oh, I was rushing back to get to the, um, the prison, innit? it? Yeah. But I can't say sure, I think when he's fighting the age, I see him down at the gym with girls. Yeah. And he was just always down to give advice and everything. And then Because the bricks of prison's right next to the, the gym, yeah? Uh, it's, it's not far, it's but not I'm, far. Talking about, I'm talking about down the line when he fought AJ. Yeah. And I was in Miguel's, isn't it? Yeah. And um, I see him I see him there as well, just offering just advice and help. Yeah. I see him come to the gym, and then there was just one day when um, I've come to the gym, he's there, uh, my, my dad's there. He just says, Right, you want to spar? Uh, okay, yeah. so jumped in and and then all of a sudden the Parker camp came, Parker fight come and I was just always called to use uh, my, my fast movement and hands. Because you know what, because I was, I was going to say to you, me yeah. and you have had a little spot, innit? Have we had a spot? <laughs> Are you sure? Did I, I hit you that hard? Are you sure? <laughs> Where's that? You don't remember, bro? No. I remember. He he, don't, he must be doing so much sparring. He don't he he, he don't forget. Was it West Ham? Was it West Ham? You said come on, just come in and do that little sparring. You took it easy on me, bro. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. All right all right. You say that, yeah, that, that's not that's not sparring, mate. <laughs> you can't call that one sparring. That's walking apart, mate. That's like walking my dog, mate. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, and, and that's that. That's we just came close from there, man. Yeah. Uh, um, just, just, I was just called into camps, and we just, yeah. And um, as soon as one day was sparring, and saw potential in me, and thought to offer me a chance, and and that's it, man. Just became close. It was more like a, um, I say, more like a brother figure. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's like a, I call him my brother, man. You know, yeah. what I mean? more than just a manager. And, and obviously, obviously, uh, as you get bigger, you're going to pass it on and you're going to help yeah, out fighters yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's what you're meant to do. Yeah, you're meant to do that. Yeah. I, I, well, for me, for my, my philosophy, just like him, he came up from the small hall shows. Yeah. Um, and that's that's difficult, selling tickets. You know what I mean? Trying to get up there. Yeah. And it's a struggle, man. It's a, oh, man, it's, it's, t- it's tough. It's, it's tough. tough, man. Yeah. It's tough, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I, went, I went through all of that. I've been going through all of that. So, um... I understand how how it is, and and to see Dylan go through and get to where he is, you know what I mean. Especially people coming from you know us that's trying to get establish ourselves. Yeah, it's it's like a motivational thing. So it's just like um, I can only from when I can reach a, a certain level, then I can pull the rope down and, and open the doors for many that are struggling to get through the door. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. So what's 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 the, what what have you? Is there anyone out there that you've got your eye on that you that you really want to fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's agreed. Lionel Sadofi, I want him. Sadofi? Yeah, Lionel Sadofi. He was English what, champ. Is, he, is that, is yeah, that middle, yeah? Middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you had a title fight. You yeah, had a title yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, I had one with. Um, I had a three week notice. I had one with um, yeah. Jack Cullen. Yeah. Weren't successful. But it was so very weird, you know, is you like you're getting food coming in the, the, into the ring, then I got cheer coming out. Huh. You know what I mean? But um, other than that, it was just a, uh, a learning curve. Yeah, it's a, a really learning, curve, learning curve, man. So it's a learning um, curve. Yeah, you, yeah, see, you yeah. don't lose, you learn. Do you know what I mean? You just come back stronger and whatever. You know what I mean? You just tweak whatever you need to do, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's it, man. That's it, man. So, listen, obviously, like, I've got to mention, I mean, obviously, Dylan White and the Povetkin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you was part of his camp and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, um, um, he's, he's back out in Portugal, yeah? Yeah, he's back in Portugal. He's back, back. He's back in the gym. We was talking, man. He just, he just, yeah. He's back grafting, man. Dill is a, a workaholic, man. You yeah. See, you see that guy work, you'll be like, wow. You, 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 I've never seen anyone, anyone that I know that works like him in the gym. Never. There's no one. There's no other boxer I've ever seen. Obviously, man, obviously, like obviously, it was a freak shot. Yeah, it was yeah. A freak shot, man. Do you know what, man? It was, you know, it was, it was, it was a shock as well, mm. and stuff, and. Um, like um, you know, he's still, still got the he's still got the support of the nation, yeah, and he's gonna the, bounce back. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. That's the main thing. He bounce back. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I think it's just it's, it's life, man. Things happen in life. 
people look look at me now. Like I was in I was in prison not too long ago. Now I'm here. You know what yeah. I mean? It's it's, 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 just, it's just life. It just bounces back. Sometimes you know what? Sometimes mm. you know you got to just take stock of of how far you've come in that. And obviously yeah. it's not it's not it's not it's not um it's not it's not over. Of course, it's, it's, it's not the end of the road and stuff and whatever. But you know I have to ask. I have to ask this question. Mm. I know that you speak with Mark Tibbs. Mm. Um, do you, do you think that's had any any played any part? I know a lot of people nah. been talking about that. Yeah, they had no clue. I was I was there behind the scenes, every single thing. So there was nothing in the media that's put out that's true. That's yeah. all lies. Yeah, everything's a lie, man. Everything's a lie. No, yeah. no, because Mark, 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 Mark was very vocal on mm. a couple of um, boxing channels. Yeah, 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 yeah and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I know, I know, I know, I know, um, and not a lot has been talked about. But yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about. Do you think the um, the, the the absence of Mark Tibbs in the corner? And stuff, and maybe that that might have because obviously no. it's been used to somebody to get to get caught with just a, a shot, yeah. and and to to say that is the corner's fault. Oh, come on, man. come on, mm. it's nothing to do with the corner, man. If you go back before the shoot, look how beautiful he was moving. Look how he was catching and shooting. Everyone yeah. forgets about that. You know what I mean? So it's nothing to do with the corners. It's just life, man. It's just, just it happens. happens. Yeah, it's heavyweight boxing. Heavyweight boxing. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's the risk when we step in that ring. Right now, it's about everyone, you know, really getting behind him and and and, and supporting him to bounce back. And that's what it all is, man. You know what I mean? I, 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 it's a sight we're always quick to bring people down. You get what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people, are, you know what? Else I don't like about this society. A lot of people, they're waiting. They're waiting. Yeah. To, they're waiting for I people. I saw to so many things, comments, and people commenting things that it they're very like, fickle. Yeah. It was like, wow. But I see in life, you see when you hit a low, you actually get to see the real. Uh, how can I say it? The, the, the snakes, the snakes, the snakes show yeah, in the, the grass. Real, the, real, the real people, you see who's really there for you, you see yeah. who's not there for you. Mm. You see their real intentions. Yeah. You know what I mean? People start speaking up. Because if he, if he did win, we won't be hearing about that. We'll be like, ah, all the cheer, you know, everyone cheering. Mm. So for, for, for us, just, I always say, just keep the same energy. When we bounce back, just keep the same energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, that's all it is, man. But um, other than that, we're good. We're still working, time's still ticking, we're still moving forward. And yeah, man, it's still Team Body Snatcher all the way. Team Body Snatcher, look, man, look, I got my Team Body Snatcher t shirt, <laughs> man. Listen, man, you know, I've been a fan from, from day one. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, so, so when, when, you, when you're out next, when you fight next? Uh, sh uh, September 20, on, on just for what's it on the card, September 26, I think it should be. Yeah. I think it should, should be. Obviously, more or less, I'm kind of waiting for them uh, to announce, but I know I think can. Um, always changing boxing yeah so we ain't fully properly ain't been announced as yet but everything in terms have been agreed so uh, whenever that is I should be on the um, on the card of Joshua Boatsy and I want to ask you a question how far can you go how far can you, can you go, go the go way I go hella far I can go hella far I fully believe in myself that's why I'm here if I didn't believe in myself I wouldn't step in no ring I wouldn't even got it back into boxing if you get what I'm saying I would have just been smoking weed on the block and, and hustling oh. really I believe I can do it. I can believe I'm gonna I'm gonna win a title. I believe on my fight the 26th I'm gonna win this this title. You know what I mean? So I fully believe. You can feel it in my presence. There's no I can say like I'm I'm nervous about it. Nah, I'm, I'm good, man. This is this life. I, I love rolling the dice. I love risk. No risk, no reward. So yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm just I'm just there to sh you know my life's a living proof for people that can just go out and get it, go out and get what you want. Yeah. The only thing that's holding you back is yourself, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's it, man. That's it. That's the only thing holding yourself back. So, because uh, other people, when they're scared to do things, that's when they'll give their opinion because they can't do it. Yeah, exactly. Taking the insecurities out on you, saying you can't do it because they ain't got the bollocks yeah, to yeah, do it. Yeah, that's what it is, man. They ain't got the bollocks to do it. Do you know, what? I've never heard, I've never heard a person who's better than me criticize me. Of it's always the people not. below you who are criticizing. Never yeah. above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's, it's true, true, man. You'll never, you'll never saw. That's the thing, you gotta block out all the voices and just focus and listen to your. This is what you say about you, what you say about you, man. I like affirmations, I like to write things down and stick it on my wall. Yeah. So when I wake up and feel it, I can just read it and just, just uh, you know, focus on myself and focus on what needs to be done. And um, everything I I've, I've focus on is, is coming to pass. So um, I, just, I just can't wait to continue to make chapter.
Well, listen, man, you're part of a great team, man. You're part of a great team mm. and stuff. And um, keep going. What about the music? Tell us about the music, man. Because your music, the music, the music, bro. Listen, I'm always, bump, I'm always bumping your tunes, bro. I know, I know. I'm always bumping your tunes. You know, what? I messaged you and I said, listen, every single time you better chat, I say, listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. fire, bro. Don't fire. Worry, Max, Max also waiting for the this COVID thing to die down. And, yeah. You know, we're gonna get a big Max and Vibes video that will be coming soon. So um, how, do, how do you keep both things going, bro? You're a workaholic, man. No, no, I'm, I'm no, just addicted no. to work. But, um, <laughs> that's, that's always I keep to work, but yeah. um, it's always when I'm, when I'm, how can I say, when I'm off camp, yeah. I, um, um, I stack up on a lot of songs and put a lot of songs stacked down. Yeah. And then when I'm in camp, I can just release them uh, yeah. whenever. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, so that's therapeutic for you. That's how you relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I express myself. Yeah. Um, uh, I release one which was called Missing Evidence. There's a lot of uh, the songs I've written. And recorded whilst I was incarcerated. Yeah. I released on the one CD, and I got part two coming, mm. um, ready to release probably maybe this month or next. And I got my last CD. I'm gonna focus on called RMG Freed, which will have uh, Maximum Violence on there. The it's album, yeah, album. yeah, 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 yeah. Album. So that'll, that'll be an album Wicked. coming. And Watch out for that. Man. Download everything from Spotify, the Spotify, all iTunes. of it, iTunes, everything. We're all there. I'm all there. Yeah. Um, Boxing bars one and two. That's the, I should be dropping a boxing bars for you soon. Um, it's been high demand, but I ain't forgot about you guys. How did that, how did that maximum violence come about? That's a sick tune, man. How did that come about? Um, <laughs> it's weird, you know what? Yeah. When dude just said it in Saudi on the one interview, yeah. it just went right, everyone got maximum, right, maximum. Yeah, yeah, and and sample that, sample that. I'm a person, you know, I, I can be writing rhymes in my head when I hit the punch bag, and it's just like, I was like, and I heard one beat. Yeah. This is, and I said, maximum, and I'm just like, I, I was, I said, yep, studio, and she laid it down, and yeah, then yeah. it's just become the, the thing that everyone's just pumping, man. Yeah. Like everyone's just been playing it, and just, it's just been, it's absolutely crazy, man. I, I love, look, thank you for everyone that's supporting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yes, the video will be coming soon, and um, hopefully everyone will be involved in it, man. How can how can everyone um, reach you on social media? I uh, just hit me up. I have a uh, hit me up, Pesta Superstar or John Harding Jr. or we'll, we'll just um, link up to everything to find me. But um, yeah, man, just just hit me up and I'm here, man. Listen, watch out for this guy, mate. This guy's the future, man. Pesta Superstar, aka John Harding Jr. In the building. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We out. We Yo, out. Heavy Boom TV. Boom in it, team.